Hollow Bird. Illustrated by Sarah Warburton. Twinkle's wings were glowing with excitement. Tra la 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 la, she sang. I'm a little fairy with sparkling wings. When I get my magic wand, I'll do amazing things. It was Twinkle's first day at the Fairy School of Magic and Music, and she couldn't wait to learn fancy spells like all the big fairies. Twinkle skipped in line with all the little fairies waiting for wands. Her wish came true when she got a sparkling peachy pink one. Shiny fairy notebooks and glittery pens appeared on all the desks. We'll start with a simple spell, said Mrs. Flutterby. Abracadabra, skittle dee dee, this stool will now become a tree. Before she could blink, Twinkle found herself perched way up in a pear tree with Pippa and Lulu waving below. Now it's your turn, said Miss Flutterby to the class. Pippa and Lulu swooshed their wands and bingo! They were both happily dangling from a plum tree. <laughs> Twinkle tried swooshing her wand, but she got it all wrong. And instead of sitting in a plum tree, she landed upside down in a prickly holly bush. Ouch, cried Twinkle, and Miss Flutterby had to rescue her. Now remember to practice at home, said Miss Flutterby, but no spells at night. You don't want to start a ruckus. That afternoon, Twinkle and her friends did their homework together. This is fun, said Pippa, turning a teapot into a tiara. I love doing spells, said Lulu, changing bananas into balloons. But Twinkle's swooshes were rather clumsy, and so her spells just got sillier and sillier. <laughs> Don't worry, Twinks, said Pippa and Lulu. We can practice again tomorrow. That night, Twinkle was in such a tizzy, she couldn't sleep a wink, and she forgot all about Miss Flutterbee's warning. Fairies never give up, Twinkle said to herself. She leaped out of bed and waved her wand like Pippa and Lulu, but she couldn't quite remember the magic words. Abracadabler, fiddle, tee, tee. Her wings fluttered wildly, as the bed began swinging. The rocking chair started rocking. The alarm clock kept ringing. And the lights were flashing. Twinkle's cozy little fairy pod was shaking and swaying, banging and clanging. Help! shouted Twinkle as the rumpus continued. One by one, all the creatures in Sparkle Tree Forest woke up, and they were not very happy. Bumblebees and ladybugs buzzed, grumpy gremlins and bullfrogs croaked, and croggy birds and bats fell out of the trees. Who's making that racket? screeched the owl. Stop the ruckus! shouted the squirrel. Fiddlesticks and fairy cakes, said Twinkle, waving her wand faster and faster. But the crashing and banging only got louder. The next morning, every creature in the forest was howling and complaining outside Twinkle's door. Sorry about my silly spells, said Twinkle, and she dashed off to see Miss Flutterby. Gracious gremlins, said Miss Flutterby in surprise when she saw the parade of insects and animals following Twinkle. I'm having a spot of trouble with my homework, said Twinkle. I keep forgetting the magic words. Since you love to sing, try singing your spells instead. Maybe that will help you remember, suggested Miss Flutterby kindly. Brilliant, said Twinkle, and her wings glowed bright pink again. After school that day, Twinkle flew home singing the magic words. Abracadabra, skittle dee dee, fix the mess that's up in my tree. And when she arrived, Twinkle was overjoyed to see everything was back in its place again. As the sun set over Sparkle Tree Forest, Twinkle sprinkled fairy dust over the treetops and sang a lullaby to all the forest creatures, just to make sure they all had a really good sleep. Good night, sleep tight with sweet dreams in your head.
Tomorrow we'll have lots of fun, but now it's time for bed. The end.